What's up, you guys? So, Darren Till, Stephen Thompson, what, week away? It's a week away, um, and it's a fight I mix feelings on, you know? Um, I'm excited about it, because I think it's, I mean, it's, um, you know, hell, it's, it's an explosion packed into a bottle, right? I mean, it really is. It's lightning in a bottle. Um, it has all the makings for a very, very interesting, entertaining fight. Um, you have one kid who is relatively unknown, but is, you know, coming onto the scene in a big way. He's made a big splash um, in MMA in a short amount of time. I mean, I remember it wasn't too long ago when I didn't even know who the hell Darren Till was. I was like, Darren who? You know, Darren Till. I, I don't even, you know, and uh, then I remember reading some articles and he was running his mouth talking about how he's going to be the greatest and this and that. And I was just like, okay. You know, he's just uh, another one of those kids with, um, you know, unrealistic goals. You know, he's got he's got a big head, you know, inflated ego, yada, yada, yada. And then um, all of a sudden I find out he's scheduled to fight Donald Cerrone. And I'm thinking, okay, now we're going to see if this kid is legit. Because, you know, Donald Cerrone's going to push you, man. Donald Cerrone is going to make you uh, earn every inch. And, uh, you know, I, ha I hate to refer to uh, Donald Cerrone as a gatekeeper, but... He's almost gotten to that point, you know, and it's it's a damn shame because, you know, I do believe Donald Cerrone's world class, man. I think he's been world class since day one. Um, but, you know, he's just, he's had so many wars and uh, he's just, his better days are behind him, you know. But but I knew uh, going into that fight, if Darren Till could pull that fight off, then, you know, he was one to be taken seriously. And that there was no more denying that kid, you know, regardless of how much experience he has. You know, if you take out Donald Cerrone in impressive fashion, you can't be denied, you know. And guess what he did, man? He went out there and he fucking ran Donald Cerrone over. Like a Mack truck. It wasn't even close, man. Slaughtered him. I was like, damn, this kid is... This kid's for real, man. This kid is for real. You know, you can throw all that other bullshit to the side. Donald Cerrone being past his prime. Donald Cerrone having an off night. Whatever you want to say, Darren Till went out there and he fucking put it on him, man. And he did it impressively, you know, so that really opened my eyes to this kid, made me realize, holy shit, man, this kid is something special, you know. He doesn't have much experience. I don't know much about the kid, but he's no fucking joke. You know, that's what I learned that night. And uh, so going into this fight against Stephen Thompson, it's exciting in the sense that Stephen Thompson has the style that can present problems against anybody, you know. I mean, you saw with Tyron Woodley, even Tyron Woodley had... Had some trouble getting to him. Um, you know, he just, he has this really unorthodox, um, really classic karate stance, really wide, wide stance, you know, hands up, classic karate style. And he moves in and out of range very well, seamlessly, smoothly, effortlessly. You know, he's able to get in and out of range quick. He mixes up his kicks and his punches really well. He's just, he's hard to gauge. He's hard to read. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to be one of these things that uh, is going to come down to can Darren Till get inside and when he does get inside can he take advantage of it because I think his opportunities are going to be limited you know his time getting within range within striking range of Steve Thompson is going to be limited so he needs to make the most of every opportunity that comes his way um, and he's going to get hit on the way in you know Stephen Thompson like I said he's he's great he's a master at keeping the perfect distance you know and he's he's a master at Closing the distance when he wants to. Landing a strike, getting back out of range just in time. So Darren Till, he needs to go out there. He needs to bully Stephen Thompson. But Stephen Thompson's footwork is, um, you know, it's no joke either, man. He's no slouch moving around either. The guy's light on his feet. He moves well. Um, man, but yeah, I think, I think Darren Till, he has to go out there. He has to try to bully Stephen Thompson. You know, if he can, if he can bully Stephen Thompson and he can get... Stephen Thompson to uh, engage in a firefight, get him uh, to panic a little bit. It could be an interesting night, but I mean, personally, I see Stephen Thompson getting the better of this fight. Um, you know, I just see him being a little too polished, a little too technical, uh, a little too experienced for Darren Till. Darren Till, you know. Um, but with that said, Darren Till is no joke, man. This kid, he's a fucking savage. Um, you know, he's got youth, he's got momentum right now, 
and he's fearless. And all those things together really make for a motherfucker, man, you know? Kid's a savage, you know? So make no mistake, I think he's in a... There's going to be some dangerous moments in this fight for Stephen Thompson where, you know, he, he might be in trouble. I could see him getting rocked in this fight. I could see him getting busted up in this fight. Um, but I just think ultimately I think uh, Stephen Thompson is going to... He's going to bring something to the to the table that Darren Till hasn't seen yet. And that's somebody who, who moves seamlessly and flawlessly in and out of range. Um, and somebody who's very hard to get to, you know, with that big wide stance Stephen Thompson has and his hands up high. Um, he's just, he's hard to read and, and he's been shown to give a lot of people problems with that. So, um, yeah, I see uh, Stephen Thompson getting the better of him, but I think it could be a very entertaining fight, you know, um, Tell you what, though, if Darren Till pulls this off, then the kid needs to be, you know, top 10. I don't think he's ranked top 10 yet, but if he beats Steven Thompson, he is fucking legit, man. And like I said, after beating Cerrone, he's already legit in my eyes, you know. But if he beats Cerrone and then Steven Thompson back to back, man, then you can't write that kid off anymore, you know. You know what I mean? He, he's a kid who, like, like I said, he, he like came out of the woodwork. It's like, Darren who? I didn't even know who the fucking guy was. You know, he came out of nowhere. And uh, all of a sudden, just boom, exploded on the scene. And, and now he's, fuck, he's like the hottest prospect around. So uh, I'm looking forward to this fight, guys. A little over a week um, away. And, uh, oh, before I wrap this up, let me say one thing. Stephen Thompson didn't have to take this fight. Donald Cerrone didn't have to take the fight against Darren Till. I mean, Stephen Thompson, what, just fought Tyrone Woodley not too long ago? For a title fight, right? I think that was for like the 170 pound title. Um, you know, two really good action packed close fights. Real close fights. Um, you know, and Darren Till, I don't think he's ranked in the top 10. So Stephen Thompson really is doing Darren Till a favor by taking this fight, you know, and I respect the hell out of Stephen Thompson for that because I don't necessarily agree with him accepting this fight. Darren Till's too fucking dangerous, man. He's too dangerous. I think Darren Till has everything to gain. Stephen Thompson has everything to lose. I mean, sure, if Stephen Thompson beats Darren Till, you know, he puts he puts the brakes on Darren Till's um, momentum. Um, you know, the kid's got the kid's got a lot of momentum right now. You know, and he's he's a wrecking ball. He's a fucking fireball. Um, and I mean, I understand somebody's got to stop the kid, uh, but uh, I don't know. I just don't like it. You know, I just think it's too risky for Stephen Thompson. Um, you know, cause Steven Thompson's what, he's got to be in the top five, right? Uh, at welterweight, he's got to be in the top five. Um, and Darren Till's not even in the top 10. So a win over Darren Till doesn't, doesn't move Steven Thompson any closer to a title fight. Um, you know, maybe Steven Thompson is just eager to get a little cash, you know, money never hurts, right? Nobody complains with a, with a nice paycheck, but it's just a dangerous fight, man. It's a dangerous, dangerous fight. And I just don't. I don't agree with Stephen Thompson taking this fight. If I was him, I wouldn't do it. Um, but, you know, my hat's hats off to him because it takes big, big balls, you know, to to take on a guy like Darren Till, who's who's dangerous, relatively unknown, and um, and young and hungry. You know, that kid's got a lot of piss and vinegar in the tank, you know. So hats off to Stephen Thompson for, for accepting this fight. Um, it's going to be a fun fight to watch, you guys. Let me know what you guys think.